What is going on guys? It's Max here, Sam, Stylish Chef, what do you want to call me? Today's video, we're going to have a quick little one over discussion. It is as of recording, December 14th, 2020, and tomorrow is when the integration period of Call of Duty, Cold War, and Warzone. That being said, we have yet to hear anything about Modern Warfare, and today's quick little video is about that. What is Modern Warfare going to be for the rest of the year? What is the future of Modern Warfare and the game's basic, basic history now at this point? Is it done? Is it just not supported anymore? What do we know? We do know that Modern Warfare is still getting updates every Tuesday for just the playlist updates, yes. You have yet to address a couple uh, bugs, I think, in the game. I don't really follow all the Warzone stuff for the game, but bugs that relate to Modern Warfare and Warzone. Um, in my opinion, if you guys want to know, Modern Warfare and Warzone to me are the same game. I don't really dish out either one. I just see it as the same game. I know one's free to play, one's not, but I just see it as the same. It's the same engine, so it's the same game to me. Um, Modern, Warfare, Modern Warfare and Cold War are two different games, in my opinion. Uh, but that being said, we don't really have a lot of information going on with Modern Warfare and its future life cycle on the game. Now, we do know for a fact that there is guns in the game files of Modern Warfare. And those guns, there's more than a couple. There's a few of them, right? So we know that there is going to be weapons added to Modern Warfare. Uh, we do know that there's op going to be added to Modern Warfare. And we do know there's going to be more content just added to Modern Warfare in general. We just don't know if it's going to be considered as a year two, as a season seven, or just added content in the store or whatever, right? I can't imagine Activision being that stupid to just throw out content in the store and make everyone pay for a new operator or new guns or something. I can't imagine that being the case. I mean, they could add operators with guns, I guess. If it's people bought up all the guns and operators this this past year, Call of Duty, most ridiculous operators people spent money on, right? So I can believe them doing that. But I can't believe, I, I, I wouldn't be able to believe them doing an entire uh, just content only and no season and no year or two of Modern Warfare. I can't imagine that because we know this for a fact. You guys know this for a fact that Modern Warfare and Cold War are split right now. There's half the community is playing Modern Warfare and half the community is playing Cold War. And then there's that 2% where the 1% is playing all the other Call of Duties and then the other 1% is playing Warzone. Which, again, I don't really like to consider Warzone its own game. I feel like it's Modern Warfare more than anything. So I guess you can have a 1 out of 3 thing, you know. But anyways, I know my fractions are probably all, all wrong and my percentages are all wrong. Just go with it. It's late. I'm trying to get this video made for you guys before the 15th of December. But anyways... We just know there is content for Modern Warfare. We just don't know when it's going to come out. And later tonight, after this video is going to come up, I will be live streaming until 1 a.m. to see what happens. If anything does happen, if I even get to update the game, I probably won't be able to update if it's that big of an update, but who knows. But I just wanted you guys to know that there is still things happening in Modern Warfare, even if Modern Warfare does not get any more updates and just happens to just be a dead game in Activision's eyes, I'm still going to be playing Modern Warfare because I will not probably play Cold War unless it gets an update with SBMM. But as we all know for a fact that SBMM and Cold War is an issue. And it's the biggest issue I think we've ever had in any Call of Duty lately in the past history of Call of Duty. It's never been this blatantly obvious and bad, I think. And uh, that's where I, again, we'll revert back to the same discussion and topic that half the community is not playing Cold War. The other half of the community is playing Warzone or Modern Warfare or the same thing, right? So, along with that, we just don't know when it's going to come out. And also, I want to just to put this out there. I really wished more YouTubers would actually talk about Modern Warfare because I know the past few weeks has been only Cold War stuff from the big YouTubers and none of them have ever, I mean, they haven't put any information out on Modern Warfare. I feel like they've all been pretty much thrown out in the back of the bus, just who cares, it's only Cold War content and I feel like that's really bad for them, let alone for the whole community because we, I know most of us get our information from all these big YouTubers, these big YouTube news sites and none of them have really talked about Modern Warfare's future history. A couple of them I've talked about it, but it's not enough to where the community is like talking about it. Because we're only talking about SBMM and Cold War when we know half the community is still playing, you know, Modern Warfare. We're still wanting information about what's going to happen in that game. So again, I just want to bring that up because it just doesn't really make any sense. But I wanted to make this video to let you guys know about like we still know there's a season two. There's still going to be con content added. We just don't know in what form that will be. And uh, I just want to make a quick little video, and I want to throw in my opinion at the end. Of, of course, with how the news has been going on with the, with the game and how we haven't had much of any news about Modern Warfare. So, hope you guys enjoy. I really do think that uh, Modern Warfare's content, you know, will be new guns, new operators, and I. this is a theory of mine, is that since they are Activision and Infinity War is, you know, 
Infinity Ward is going to be the next developer for next year's COD, right? And I and I truly do believe that this next year of Call of Duty Modern Warfare will be a slow process to put us into the, the next Call of Duty, which will be Modern Warfare 2. There's no way they're not going to do Modern Warfare 2. We know that from the setup of the end of, the, of Modern Warfare, right? So I do believe that year two of Modern Warfare will still happen in some capacity, and it'll introduce new characters, uh, new weapons, new settings, new maps. To fit into the next Call of Duty, so it can streamline us into that next, that, that next part of the universe, right? Along with that, I feel like there's gonna be more content in Modern Warfare to connect it with the Cold War universe. Because again, that's just a little sketchy to me how it's like Hayav is in the same universe and other characters in the same universe. And if it's the same universe as Black Ops, that doesn't, it's just all confusing to me, right? So it also makes me to believe that the same thing will happen in Treyarch, and Treyarch will make another new revitalized version of the Black Ops series in the future. But who the hell knows? I just have a theory. That's my theory. Uh, got to rank in all the money. Got to milk the franchise dry, as I say. So that's what they're going to probably have to do for Call of Duty. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If, if my theory sounds good, let me know. I'm excited because I know they're going to add some remastered maps to Modern Warfare 2 this year. I know they will. There's not a question about that. They're going to probably add High Rise and Terminal because those are like safety nets for them. They can throw those maps out there and people will get on Modern Warfare to play. That's a good thing, right? Along with those maps, you got operators like Soap and other operators in task force 141 and also the operators from 2019 that could still add side characters what that that might be they can still add in modern warfare and i think that being said that we know there's gonna be still stuff happening in modern warfare we just don't know in what form that will be and it really hurts that nobody is talking about it because again a half of the player base is still playing modern warfare so with that being said, and that'll be the end of the video. Hopefully my voice wasn't too bad. I'm trying to record this as simple and smooth as possible without any cuts or anything. I'm running out of time. It's almost midnight, and I'll make this video up for you guys to check it out. And uh, that'll be about the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my second channel. It's in the link below. Me and my wife do vlogs. The vlog for that channel will be up very soon. I'm getting it all put together and everything. Anyways. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys stick with me to the end of this video. Let me know what your favorite video in the past few months has been on Modern Warfare. Comment down below. Thank you guys. It's been FMX or Stylish Show. That's my phone. That's a good cut. <laughs> See you guys.